Let's begin with political stories. The All Progressives Congress finally has now uh, its National Working Committee in place after a successful con conduct or its elective election, uh, convention rather. While it was a fulfilling moment for the newly elected members and their supporters, other disgruntled contestants thought otherwise. But personal interest had, be, had to be set aside for the good of the party. Our correspondent to JC Adoye has more on this story. It has been an eventful two-day exercise at the Eagle Square in Abuja as the All Progressives Congress draws a curtain on its 2022 elective national convention. It appears this Congress met the expectation of party faithful who shame cynics. Now they hope the outcome of the convention will make the APC stronger and more united. This is the beginning of a good thing to come for the party and for the country as a whole. You can imagine the beginning of the convention. You can follow up the trajectories of various interests. You can see how it's come to, to play, to, pay, to be peaceful at the end of the day. That shows APC has come to stay. You could see the way the convention has gone. It's been very peaceful, contrary to what people were expecting. The, the security people have done wonderfully well. I foresee a new APC. We have seen some of the mistakes and we have, we have people that are already there with experience coming on board, of course, to correct some of the mistakes that we also have. Although other contestants are not too excited as they had their ego bruised, but they still managed to set aside their personal interests for the overall good of the party. I'm not happy, but our leaders have said we should let go. And we are willing because all we want is a better country, not of ourselves. Learning is something that I feel with time we should get rid of because it's stopping us from getting the right quality of people to occupy positions. It's not that with politics. There have never been an election that goes unchallenged. But at the end of the day, we will we'll come out victorious, very strong as members of one family. Everybody at some point needs to be carried along, especially when we're getting close to the real event. And that's what has happened, right? He has identified critical stakeholders that needs to be on board, that needs to be on the same page as it were with him. The coming days hold a lot to prove if indeed this convention will strengthen the APC after the contentious road to electing new officers. The attention now shifts to the presidential primaries as the APC also sets its gaze on winning the 2023 general elections. TJ Suadio, ETVC News. The All Progressives Congress convention ended with overwhelming success, but not without sparking some concern on its impact on the Abuja environment. Our correspondent, Mayor Thomas, reports on this. APC had over 7,000 delegates, several party faithful and supporters, all converged on the national convention ground at the Eagle Square in Abuja. This influx of people without adequate arrangement meant some disruptions to the quiet city's daily lives. It meant facilities were overstretched from the Eagle Square Arena itself, which has a capacity of about 4,000, but took over 7,000 delegates and other party supporters. The public toilet facilities were inadequate, even with the provision of mobile toilets to support. Every corner, wall or flower became a sport to answer the call of nature. I think I've been holding myself. If I come to a place like this, it's very hard for me to ease myself. So I just remained calm. And, but before I came here, I had to really arrange myself before coming because I wouldn't use the public toilet. You know how it is now. Even now, if I even go and ease myself at the back of one motorcycle day, then I'm now going in again. While these vendors are happy at an opportunity to sell their wares, not much care is given to the litter generated all over the nation's capital. Another concern was the posters pasted in all corners by supporters without removal plans. Yeah, I think the federal government should take care of that because we have a disposal company who will come and just pack the stuff up off the street. Crowd control also posed a major challenge to the thousands of security personnel deployed to the venue. Police personnel had to shoot tear gas into the air to disperse the crowd, in the process causing another medical emergency. 
security personnel freely using their batons on recalcitrant party supporters trying by all means to gain access to the grounds were caught on camera. The Eagle Square and surrounding streets the morning after the convention was an eyesore. Empty bottles, papers, cans, plastic bags and other environmental toxic waste littered everywhere. The streets reeking of urine and the stench of human feces. Despite the city's cleaning exercise starting early the next morning, heaps of refuse generated by the convention still mounted the Eagle Square. For Abuja, a city already battling inordinate disposal of refuse, the need for a better management cannot be more glaring, especially as Nigeria is hoping to remain on the course towards meeting the sustainable development goals. As Nigeria evolves, it is time to start to think of a better way to organize and manage events of this magnitude in a sustainable manner that is protective of the environment and its people. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja. Meanwhile, President Muhammad Buhari has congratulated the Abdullahi Adamo led member National Executive Committee. The president says the unity of members put on display has aligned the party on a firmer footing for victory in the 2023 general election. The president, who returned to the convention ground at the Eagle Square Sunday morning, along with the vice president and Senate president, to witness and celebrate the inauguration of the elected party executives, remarked that the smooth conduct of the election raises the prospect of a mouth-watering APC victory next year. President Buhari, in a statement by Senior Special Assistant on Media and Publicity, Gaba Shehu, said, with the national convention now out of the way, the stage is set for the APC primaries later in the year, where the party's new flag bearers will emerge. Let's talk more on these. I've got, I've got joining me in the studio. Uh, the out to talk about the outcome of the APC convention is a public affairs analyst, Moyowa Ogunlaja. Thank you so much for being here Thank on TVC here. Media News. Well, so before, in the build up to the convention, a lot of people thought, because if you check what happened, looking at the absence of chairman here and there, the fourth and back, a lot of people thought it may not go down well. But the outcome is, you know, is what, what we actually saw. So, what has been your observation? of the aftermath of this convention. Uh, thank you. <coughs> and the convention which was, uh, which was um, <coughs> the climax of the world's local government and state congresses uh, came up as planned. But before the people have been expressing a top seat of your convention, mm. where chairs will roll, where heads will be broken, where minds should be used at will. Uh, unfortunately, this did not come to, this not come to fruition. Mm. All because uh, much as disturbed or as disorganized APC seems to be. The party is about the best in terms of internal politics and internal discipline. Yeah. But for internal discipline, those six contestants would not have agreed to step down. Right. But for internal discipline, the entire 7,000 of our delegates would not have agreed to just come to Abuja right. to just to say a yes or a no. Yeah. But for internal discipline, those agreed members would not have succumbed yeah. to the piece of advice of the Adidas by saying that they should allow peace to reign mm -hmm. and let bygones be bygones. So I want to give it to the party that um, they have demonstrated the fact that internal discipline uh, is, is prevalent in the party and that party supremacy cuts across board. That's not to say that it, it was a, a fantastic or no, but um, all, all and good, the method that it came out successful without any bickering, remarkable bickering in a way, I said so that the party has succeeded, and I think kudos should be given to those members of the extraordinary convention party. Um, committee if you say this, if, if you say yeah. this, this bickering is not you know, let me use another word, significant enough yes. as enough to disrupt enough. the process of the convention. Yeah. Someone actually came out saying that he spent as you know as much as three hundred million naira, yeah. you know, buying form, campaigning here and there. He's been there yeah. many months before the convention. Do you think that kind of a person? would not be aggrieved if even though he has not gone to the media thank you if you if you if you're a keen observer as soon as uh, the elections um, um, nominations were over the president did say all those who had bought forms and were not solicited that should have their money refunded mm. i want to say that this olive branch will be extended to this kind of candidates if they could step down not because they wanted to but because in the of party discipline definitely 
what they have spent must be refunded. I, you think they have not grudgingly stepped down? <laughs> hey, they have grudged. Nobody will step down willingly. Right. There is nobody who will run away from victory. Who wants? Who will not want to be famous? Mm. I have not said that person positively right. famous anyway. But the question is that um, when the party says this, mm. are you dare go outside? Who, who, who will give you the votes when the time comes? How will you look at how to support? What should be your standing yeah. when you are against the party? Okay, very quickly. So, um, since we, we, we realize that consensus has really come to stay, especially in the inner party, inner politics of the APC. Yes. Now, the president, you know, you know, sailing through using the consensus candidate, bringing yeah. out Adamo. Um, do you not think that this might also be the same mode that will be, uh, you know, adopted for the primary elections, for, you know, presidential election? The Yoruba ceremony shows the, in the case, then, definitely, the day. Definitely, that will be. No party wants to go through the tumultuous exercise of canvassing for election, casting votes, and counting. If it happens, that party will likely be upside down. And so where is the place so, of democracy if they don't good. allow people to vote? The part of democracy is consensus. That's what we don't understand. Actually, the model of democracy is consensus. I used to say, okay, let us adopt this. The way that the way that you have decided to, sub, to to submit your personal whims and preferences to that will be general good. Then you are a democrat. If you are not a democrat, you will not want to take it. Mm. So it's part of democracy. The only problem I have is that they should not have allowed people to waste their high their resources mm. and risk their life coming to Abuja. You can do consensus right. even online, and there will be no need for all the. Problems we have in Abuja now. And very, very briefly, you're not mm. concerned with the fact that you know the crop of NWC officials that we have now, are main people from the PDP, you know, you whose <laughs> party said you know took Nigeria to where we are today. My dear, what is the difference between six and seven? I have never believed that the parties are not the same. Their hand, their their fingers are the same leprous hand, and. Uh, <laughs> Definitely, you have APC in the PDP, and you have PDP in APC. But, you're hopeful. but more importantly, we are all Nigerians. Mm. And you're hopeful at the end of the day that Definitely, we get somewhere. Definitely, because mind the politics. There are no permanent enemies. We really have permanent interest. Mm. I can be in party A today and be the champion of party B tomorrow, mm. depending on where my interest lies. All right, we'll continue to monitor these um, events you know, politically as they unfold. And, mm. you know, we keep talking about them and see how they actually pan out at the end of the day. Yeah, exactly. uh, public affairs analyst, Moewa Ogunlaja, thank you so much for Thank you, my dear. Thank you.